Normally I don't do car reviews, but today I'm gonna to make an exception because recently I bought a brand new 2024 Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. I'm a homesteader and normally I do tractor videos, tractor snowblower video, more snowblower videos, gardening videos, outdoor wood boiler videos, how to cut log video, wood splitter videos, chicken videos, how to make a hoop coop and a coop videos, and soon I'll be making old Chevy truck videos. This truck hasn't been started in 20 years and next week I'm gonna start working on it. So why am I making this video? Well, I've had the truck for two months and a lot of my subs have noticed it on the background and I haven't spoken about it. And a few individuals asked me to make a review or a video on it, GTA. And that's what we're gonna do now. So this is Chevy's most expensive model. This is a luxury model. It comes with a 5.3 liter V8 with 355 horsepower and 383 pounds of foot torque with a 10 speed automatic transmission. Let me show you around. So it has this high country logo here on the side. I live in high country, so it makes perfect sense. And it has a Chevy logo here on the side marker, 22 inch wheels. That was an option. Now High Country is also here on the grill. And the Chevy logo, uh, it's bigger than my hand. Look at that. Now that grill looks absolutely beautiful. And I believe these hooks here are for uh, towing. Now the truck is a Radiant Red Silverado. It has a three-piece tonal cover. It's a hard type. We also have the side steps here. Now the tailgate is very different. It has a flex gate, meaning that it splits in half. I'm gonna open it here in a second. Chrome exhaust tips. Back here we have a connection for your trailer, seven pin connection. And I am told that this is for the trailer cameras. I've never used anything like this, but eventually I will. This is where I insert the key to release a spare, which is right underneath the vehicle. High Country logo. Now I have cameras back here, and I also have cameras up on top. And here I have two buttons. This is to release the entire tailgate, and this is to release the flex gate, the upper half. So first, It has a spray-on liner. Let me open up this tonal cover a little bit. It's got three hooks here, three over there, and another six on the other two corners. You probably can't see it, it's a little bit dark. There's a High Country logo on, on the wall back there. This vehicle came with a sprayed-on liner. I added this just a couple of days ago. Now to release a flex gate, I'm gonna press on the first button. There we go. And check this out guys, there's a step. So I can use the step to climb onto the bed. Okay, there's another little thing here. This tube right here, check it out. Now this is something that you can hold on to uh, to assist you when you climb into the bed. Oh yeah, and at my age, I need it. <laughs> I also have, it has LED lights in here too, and an outlet, a 120 volt outlet right there. Now the cover folds into three pieces. I took it out the other day, it was very simple. To take out it was just a couple of uh screws one there one at the other end back here i was pointing at two cameras now this is a camera 
for the rear view mirror and I'm gonna show you that in a couple of minutes and this is the camera for the back of the bed And guys, here's the neat feature of this tailgate. If you have something that's very long, you can just lift this up, leave it up. Now it also comes with retractable power steps. Check this out. I open up this door, the steps come out. But what if I wanted to reach something here? Obviously, there's nothing here that I can use to reach all the way to the middle of the bed. As so you see that button there, just press it and it comes right back. Check it out. Now I have access to the middle of the bed. This is awesome. Now the interior is all leather, black and umber. This is the umber color. I love this color. I love the dual tone. The doors have leather as well. There's real wood here. And you have this brown stitching all around. Now the back is huge. You can definitely fit three adults with no problem. And look at all the space I have from the back of the seat to my knees. That's a lot. Now the back seats are heated. You have the controls here. You have three settings, USB-A and USB-C. You have a pocket back here another pocket behind the passenger seat under this seat you have some storage space you also have some storage space here right behind the passenger check it out yeah you can put a few things back here here you also have that armrest a couple of cup holders under the other seat you have the jack Look at all the space I have, guys. And there's this indentation up here. So yeah, you can definitely fit three adults back here with no problem. Look at all that space. And it feels, it feels comfortable. Let's go to the front of the vehicle for a second. So here I have a front facing camera and a sprayer so it can clean the camera. Here we have the power folding mirrors with 360 cameras. And the cameras are right there under it. Okay, let's go to the front. Again, the leather is jet black and umber. Beautiful colors. And I have the Bose system. These are the biggest speakers I've seen on the vehicle. We have lots of storage space. Here we have the window controls. in the Chevy High Country animation. We have two screens. I believe that's 12.3 inches and this is 13.4 inches. Now this animation is unique to High Country. Okay, so I'm gonna go over some of the features here inside the cabin. I don't know every single setting here, but here it goes. There are three ways to turn this vehicle on, either via the fob here or via the Chevy app on my phone. So here I have a heated steering wheel when I turn on my car remotely. It's already one when I come inside the vehicle. And this button here is to turn it on and to turn it off. Here we have cruise control. We got paddle shifters right there. Windshield wiper here on the left hand side. We have the uh, parking brake. Here we have the four wheel drive settings. Auto, two wheel drive four high and four low. Now, not all Chevys come with a four low. So if you're gonna do any off-roading, you want four low. So just look out for that. And here we have light settings. 
Now here I have a heads-up display. Check this out guys. This is the biggest heads-up display I have ever seen. I don't know if you can see it. Right there it's, it says zero. So with one button you can move it down, you can move it up. Info button. Let's try the info button. What does that do? I don't know if you can see it right there. I'm making changes and I'm gonna lower it a little bit it's already all the way down I'm gonna go up with it so I don't know if you can tell but yeah definitely that is a huge heads up display and it's pretty bright too you can dim it if you don't want it too bright like so right there it disappears now I'm gonna make it bright again I like it bright now this instrument cluster has lots of settings that I'm still trying to figure out. There's a display layout, there's four of them, I'll show you that in a second. But look at the left side, when I bring this down to the left side inflow, see how it highlights the left? Now it's going to highlight the right. And now it's going to highlight the lower gauges. But let's go into display layout. There's a classic, which is what we're seeing now. There, that's progressive here it's changing to progressive you can change it to digital there it is that's digital or you can change it to clean let's go change it to clean there we go but I like the classic I like the first one the first option now you control all of those settings right here from the steering wheel left or right recent calls this is a Sirius XM satellite radio if I change the station I can see it right there now for the radio I have the volume right behind the steering wheel or you can use a manual button one more thing here I have the automatic high beams now for the infotainment we have this huge 13.4 inch screen if you press this button you can go home there we go and then you have you can see all the options audio maps phone cameras Google Assistant Play Store Apple CarPlay we also have trailering information climate settings Wi-Fi hotspot Amazon Alexa my Chevrolet that's the app that I have on my phone podcasts and news and here we have Google Maps. That's Sirius XM radio. That's information on how to connect the trailer to view a status. And here we have a nice clock. So now let me show you the cameras. Here we have a full view. That's the back camera. That's a front camera. These are the two cameras on the side mirrors. That's the left side and that's the right side. That's behind the hitch. And there's the other camera that looks straight through to the bed. Now when I put the car in reverse, yep, that's my backup camera press this button for trailer information that's Google Maps audio again and back to home and power steering wheel the controls are right here goes in and out up and down so here we have all of these buttons let's see if I remember now this one is the lane assist button this one's the park assist auto stop disabled and this is a power tailgate hazard warning light, traction control, and this one lowers all the windows at the same time. Let's do this. Now if I press this button, all windows should go down at the same time. Let's see. Yep. Oh, it's a nice feature. They all went down. Now these are the heated seat controls. That one and that one. And my wife, the passenger, also has her settings now in the front that only in the front seats we have cooled or ventilated 
seats and that's the button right there this is for yeah believe it or not these seats are ventilated they are cooled got three settings there more climate control buttons and here we have the integrated trailer brake control here we have USB ports USB A and USB C here we have this nice shift lever you press this button you go in park you press it back you go in drive you press it forward and you go in reverse here we have storage space more storage space and even more up front we have two cup holders and a wireless charger for my phone right there behind this center console we have two more cup holders and we have two glove boxes we have one on top here and we have another big one here at the bottom right below it now for this center console here as you can see it is huge look at this tray really big and look at that there's a ton of space there there's an LED light here another USB USB A USB C and a power outlet now this is amazing this is a super comfortable truck with lots of storage space power rear slide control if I press this button that window will open up see that and here we have the moonroof control The first button on the left opens the whole thing. But this right button opens only the back. Now this rear view mirror has a camera. Just bring this button forward and that's the camera. Now these are some settings. To brighten it up to zoom in zoom out check it out that's all the brushes right behind the truck to go up to go down to brighten it up to darken it oh this is amazing and now back to normal and you also have these four handles at all four corners and I love the stitching all the way around this leather. Now the Bose audio system here, it's amazing too. Let's turn it on and let's see what we have here. Let's go to classic vinyl. It also comes with the embroidered headrest, high country logo. I love the perforated seats. Heated and ventilated. Now the only option that this truck did not come with is a Chevy Super Cruise, which is a driver assistance that allows hands-free driving. I'm not ready for that yet. Maybe in five or 10 years, I'll get a vehicle with that. But for now, I'm happy not to have it on this truck. All right, let's go see the engine now. Like I said, this is a 5.3 Chevy V8. There are two other engines available for the high country and those are the 3.0 Duramax and the 6.2 liter V8. Like I said earlier, this has 353 horsepower. That's more than enough for me. I don't think I'll ever need any more horsepower than that. And I can tow 9,300 pounds. The way this vehicle is configured with that engine so it looks like there's a lot of space so it comes with LED lights and LED fog lights as well okay let's go for a ride the acceleration test oh yeah the vehicle has a lot of power it's very smooth yes yeah, very comfortable on the road 
Yet this is by far the most comfortable vehicle I've ever been in. Definitely this one has the most luxury. As of right now, I only have 1600 miles. Now this truck is totally specced out. Now a base high country goes for about $66,000. Now if you add the options, the taxes, registration fees, it's way up there. But it's a beautiful truck and I hope to keep it for many, many years. All right guys, that's it for today. My next video, it's gonna be about the 1952 Chevy pickup truck. I need to start working on it. So with that, you all have a good morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. We'll see you manana, bye.